Hi everyone, how are you? Um, this is the introduction to business operations and management module. And your module code is PMM3003. This is the week one lecture. Uh, these are the learning outcomes of the session in which we will cover these four points. What is business and why do business exist? And what are the basic objectives of business and how do business establish their priorities and objectives? And what types of businesses are there in the market? These four points that we are going to cover in this lecture. First, uh, that was just an introduction slide. And the next one is few questions about what is business and what do business exist and what are the basic objectives of businesses that questions has been asked in the classes. And starting from the basic definition of what is a business. Basically, we every day we see business around us, like businesses and organizations that exist to provide goods and services on a commercial basis to its customers. Businesses, mostly most of the times established to earn profits. So here are the basic definition is a business is any organizations where people work together either to sell products or services. We see every day around us from where we do some casual shoppings. These are all the businesses that exist in the markets. So as I said, businesses have a specific purpose to generate maximum profits by offering products and services to its customers. So that was the basic definition that we have discussed in the class and why business exists. Here are some of the points. Like business exists to solve a problem. They are created by entrepreneurs, definitely. Or businesses could be a merger collaborations between two or three multinational companies and they strive to get beyond the survival stage. And of course, profit is one of the, you know, main purpose to establish the business. And again, there are some objectives about business. Their KPIs in the indicators means make profit. They want to um, market share. They want to maximize their sales and rapid growth and penetrate different market segments. Because when a company or a business hits into one specific market segments, and when they're successful with that specific market, then they want to grow to another segments. So this is how the business growth. Then there are some priorities and objectives behind uh, establishing a business uh, that was like Mm -hmm. keeping each goal and clear be specific being realistic and being able to think big and outside of the box because businesses should have to be you know uh, like make sure that all the synchronizations of their strategies is towards achieving their organizational missions then we have discussed the smart business objectives what it should be and after that we have discussed the types of businesses uh, like public sector businesses and private organizations. We have thoroughly made a discussion in that class. And that was the activity that we have conducted in the class. And we have studied some three types uh, of uh, uh, forms of businesses uh, in which we have studied sole traders in which a person's a business is only owns by a single person. And then we have studied the partnership that means a collaboration between one and two businesses and private company and the public uh, limited companies. These are the examples that we have studied uh, about business. And then after that, um, we have discussed the forms of businesses and moving forward, we have discussed some of the modern business environments uh, that exist, like uh, how is the company's management style is, how is the corporate culture, and what are the values and ethical and CSR, like corporate social responsibilities of those organizations and their operating style, their organizational structures. We have a separate lecture on the organization structures and we have discussed that in very detail. I I think that was in week five. And human resource policies of the organizations, their procedures, they deployed, uh, the procedures deployed by the chief executive officers or the or governing body of an organization. And after that moving further, we have discussed both internal factors and external factors of business environments. 
and we have done a past analysis in which we have thoroughly discussed about what could be the political conditions that can affect the businesses, what could be the economical conditions, social and technological conditions. We have discussed these terms in detail and here are the details of these best analysis political factor and economical factor that is the external factors that can affect the organizations and social factors and technological factors are also are, uh, are from outside of the organizations that can you know uh, 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 affect the business environment and after that, we have done uh, some of the activity on pest analysis in the class. And then these, this is the pre-task activity, uh, a YouTube video. And then uh, we have just discussed what we are going to cover in the next week. Here we have done with our week first lecture in which we just have thoroughly discussed about the business. Uh, why do they exist, their basic definitions, their internal and external environments, how the best analysis can affect the organizations. So th that uh, week was all about business introductions. Thank you so much.